Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well out there. Hey, I want to talk to you today about refrigeration off grid. And I want to do a test today to show how long the Jackery 1500 will power the ARB Elements fridge. I'm gonna do a full review on these products later once I have a, a lot more time with them. But right now I just wanna show um, that test so you get an idea of what to expect. Because one thing about refrigeration off-grid is, I've been using coolers for a long time and the challenge obviously is the management of ice. Um, and if, if you're around uh, an area where you can replenish the ice, it's not as big of a deal. Although there are a couple of negatives for coolers, as one is you lose capacity that the ice actually uh, takes up in the cooler. So it's about 30% or so that you lose. So you do lose that, and then you're dealing with water as the ice is melting. So soggy food, that type of thing. So I decided to take the plunge, get the fridge. So the first thing you gotta do, obviously, when you have a fridge is you gotta have a power source. Uh, you can power it in your vehicle while the vehicle is running, but when you're uh, setting still, you don't want to drain the battery. So there's a lot of setups you can do for the power source. Uh, I decided to go with the Jackery 1500. Got a really good deal on it during Prime Day this year and with the, with the uh, solar panels as well. So what I want to do today was a test of how long would the Jackery 1500 run the ARB fridge. Okay, so now let's talk about the criteria for the test. I uh, did this test in my garage. The temperature range was about uh, mid 70s to high 80s. Uh, obviously it wasn't in the sun, so no direct sunlight. I opened the refrigerator about twice a day. Um, could have opened it more, but twice a day is what I did. Um, I checked it about every, every half a day and recorded that. Um, fully charged the Jackery to 100% before we started and drained it down to eight, uh, to 15%, which is, uh, is recommended by Jackery not to drain that lithium ion battery lower than 15%. So that's what I did. Uh, I powered the um, uh, refrigerator from the uh, 12 volt outlet, cigarette lighter type outlet um, on the uh, Jackery, which is the most efficient way to do so. Uh, the AC has an inverter and the inverter takes power, so definitely DC is the way to go. So that, uh, oh, and the, the refrigerator was full. Uh, I kept it full the whole time. So that was the other, uh, and, and because a refrigerator and a cooler runs more efficient when it's full. So that's what I did. Um, I didn't deplete as the days went on. I just kept it at the same baseline, let's say. So that was the criteria for the test. Um, there's a lot of variables you can throw in there as well, but um, that's what I did. Let's get started. Okay, now let's talk about the items to be tested here. First of all, we got the ARB fridge. It's the ARB Elements fridge. This thing is um, made out of 304 grade stainless steel. It can withstand the elements, that's why I wanted it. Not sure where I'm gonna mount this yet. You can, you can mount it outside the vehicle and it will do fine. Um, as far as size, it's about, uh, outside dimensions are about 17 inches high, 19 inches wide, and about 32 inches deep. Um, the inner dimensions are, there's a main and then, then there's a back area. Let's look at that real quick. Um, so you've got a basket here. And this is removable, and plus it's also reversible. So you see this back part here where the basket is flush, you can flip it around, this, this side is higher, and you can have a divider back here. So as far as, again, as far as dimensions on the inside, that main area where the basket is, is about 13 inches high, about 14 inches wide, and about 18.8 inches deep. And in that back area, is about 5.7 inches high, four, 14 inches wide, and about six inches deep. So that's it for dimensions. Um, I do like this gas shock, this gas strut on this thing. It, it doesn't just pop open the top, it actually allows you to stop it at whatever 
height you want the lid to be when you open it. So that's pretty cool. Then there's the display. Here are the clamps. Um, I'm gonna get into that in more detail on a full review. So again, that is the ARB Elements Fridge. Okay, now for the Jackery. It's the Explorer 1500, which means it's a 1488 watt hour lithium ion battery. The actual watt hours would be a little bit less. I mean, first of all, you can't run it, you're not supposed to run it down more than, uh, down to lower than 15%. So that's gonna take away as well. But it does have a really good uh, inverter. It's got an 1800 watt pure sine inverter with a 3600 watt peak. So if you do have to run AC, it's got a really, really good inverter for the industry. Uh, but AC is not the most efficient way to run this system. DC is a lot more efficient due to the inverter pulls power as well. So uh, DC is the way to go if you can. Um, as far as DC outputs, you've got your 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter type of output. It's regulated to 13 volts at 10 amps. And then you got your three USBs. You got a 60 watt USB-C. You got an 18 watt quick charge USB, and then you got your standard USB A. So uh, not bad. I wish I had a few more, but it is what it is. Um, inputs, you've got this is kind of cool. It's an MMPT controller, and the uh, the two inputs are simul are independent and can run be run simultaneously for charging, and they're eight millimeters. So what that means is you could run one off of the uh, wall charger and one off the solar, or two wall chargers for that matter. They're 300 watts a piece for 600 watts total, but they are independent, so you could max them out um, separately. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the unit itself is an ABS plastic. Size is about 14 inches long, 13 inches wide, about 10 inches high. Um, and it's got this of course, this amazing watt, one watt light on one side. That can be useful, I guess. Um, display is pretty cool. Shows input, output, and the amount of charge you have left on the battery. Um, so that's about it. Uh, the handle, pros and cons, it's great for mobility, but it doesn't stack. So um, just, you know, kind of a, a pro and con there. But it's a good durable system, uh, very convenient. And uh, let's see how it does. All right, here's the test. The refrigerator is full, somewhat full. Let's see here. All right, so it's pretty full. All right, most mainly drinks, a little bit of food. Just want to take up volume in there. This refrigerator is typically like free, uh, like coolers. Uh, are more efficient when they're full. But the temperature set at 33 degrees, right now it's at 36. The Jackery is at 100%. And right now it's showing zero output because the refrigerator is at temperature. It's at 36 now. When it gets to about 38, it'll kick on and go back down to 33-ish, 32, something like that. So. Okay, now we're about 26 hours into our test since we started. And as you can see, the fridge is at 32 degrees, so it's at uh, the ideal temperature that I have it set. Uh, you can see the temperature, ambient temperature is 79 degrees, so a little cooler than it was yesterday. Yesterday was in the upper 80s. So let's see how much power, how much juice We've drained from the Jackery. All right, we're at 82%. You can see there's no wattage, uh, wattage is actually being used at this time because the uh, refrigerator is at the uh, desired temperature, not having to cool down at this point. But 90, uh, 82%, uh, it's about four, four and a half, maybe five days at this rate. Uh, you don't want to run the Jackery down past 15%. So that's probably what you'll end up being as long as nothing really changes. I've heard that the um, depletion on the battery is pretty consistent, but we will see. We'll run this test and see. 
this point. It's looking pretty good. Okay, here we are three days in, 72 hours into our test. And the refrigerator is at 36 degrees. And ambient temperature is 79. And the moment of truth on the Jackery is 55%. So I believe that's still tracking towards about five days, a little over five days of uh, battery capacity to run this refrigerator, but we'll see. All right, so here's the update. After four days, all right, the fridge is at 34. It's actually cooling down right now. Uh, ambience 84, 82, just changed on me. It's a little cooler today than it was yesterday. And the Jackery, is down to 37 percent right now it's pulling mid 40s low 40s to low 50s as far as power to cool the uh, fridge back down it's all right 37 percent after four days okay it's now been five days exactly five days since we started this test of running the uh, arb elements refrigerator, 63 quart, off of the Jackery 1500. Uh, right now it is at 36 degrees, set at 33. Sounds like it's running, so it's cooling down currently. Ambient temperature is 82 degrees here in the garage. And let's look at the Jackery. The Jackery is at 16% left. It's pulling, the refrigerator is now pulling between 40 and 50-ish watts, which is pretty typical. Now, as I've mentioned before, you, you don't want to run these lithium batteries down past 15%. So this is going to conclude the uh, test. So I got exactly five days out of this. All right, so that is the test. And for me and Kenda, that's a wrap. Okay guys, that's gonna do it. Looks like five days is the uh, amount of time the Jackery 1500 will power the ARB. Now, granted, as mentioned, uh, I only opened it twice a day and I kept it full the whole time. So I would say if I was planning a trip and I was not gonna take solar power to help replenish, I would probably plan on more four to four and a half days uh, to be on the safe side. So uh, anyway, I think that's more than enough time for most trips, at least for me. Uh, and if I am going to uh, be off the grid longer, I'll just take my solar panels. One solar panel will actually uh, replenish what you're depleting from that refrigerator. So that's pretty cool. So you take one or two solar panels, you've, you've got plenty of replenishment. Because you want to use your Jackery or your other your power source for other things as well. So uh, if 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 you take that into account, I would say you know a good three day supply, power and other things, and uh, take solar panels if you want to replenish. All right. So again, thanks everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comments below would be great. We love answering those. Until next time, have fun out there.